Hello, YouTube. <sighs> Third camera. I hate technology. Hopefully you can see me, hopefully you can hear me, that's all I can say. But I'm back. This is a Tuesday top 10 Wednesday crossover because obviously my computer com camera buggered again. Now, I've been looking around a bit. 4K is the way to go, of course. Um, I wanted to see what, what, we, what do we have to look forward to. But I looked at two places. I looked in the US and I looked in the UK. And I'm trying to get some kind of correlation. So what I'm going to do is just give... It's, it's more than 10. But this is some things to look forward to. 4K wise. And bear in mind, you can order from the US or the UK. Because 4Ks aren't regional locked. So give me an idea of, uh, in the comments down below. What are you going to be pieing out of this, these kind of lists? Now, forget about May. Because this stuff is you know, out the next week or so. But June, what do we have coming? Here, on the 3rd of June, we have the Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, and Batman and Robin coming out in 4K. Oh yeah, baby. And that will hit America on the 4th. We also have The Mule, which is an amazing looking Clint Eastwood film. And the Lego Movie 2 will arrive in 4K as well. Um, June 4th in America, we also have Toy Story 1, 2 and 3 coming out in steelbook format 4K and normal format 4K as well. Man, they're going to look good in 4K. No word on when they're going to hit us though. Mm, bit annoying. Um, also, they have the Matrix Trilogy coming out in a 4K steelbook. Yeah, we're still waiting on that one. Really annoying. June 10th is the next one. We have How to Train Your Dragon 3 arriving in 4K. Not bad. I do like the look of that film. But I'll have to get it in 3D from somewhere. Then, as you hit America on June 11th, because their stuff's always released on a Tuesday. We have Captain Marvel. Yeah, that's arriving in 4K. And there's two different steelbooks in America for that. I think it's like Best Buy and a Target exclusive. And they also have Ghostbusters 1 and 2 coming out in a 4K steelbook double pack. Classic art on that one. And the Fast and Furious 8 film box set is coming out in 4K. So the whole collection. That does look good. Uh, we'll, if we look at the 17th for us now, next, which is the following Monday, we have the Dunkirk, amazing film coming out in 4K. Uh, we have Matrix, the original, as a steelbook in 4K, just the Matrix, and the new Lenticular steelbook uh, in 4K of Black Panther. Don't know why they've done that. The original steelbooks, the artwork to me is way better, but there you go. Um, on June 18th, uh, we have. Us coming out in 4K and in steelbook format in America. That does look like a wow cool film. Um, and then we're looking at June 24th back over this side. We've got Cold Pursuit, which is a, a Liam Neeson film where he's an angry person. Uh, that's coming out as a 4K and a steelbook. And The Kid Who Would Be King, which I think looks so cool. I really want to see that, in, especially in 4K. Uh, and then we, if we hit the last of June, we're looking at the 25th in America. Dumbo will arrive there in 4K and in steelbook format as well. As we trickle into July, it hits us first, of course. The 1st of July, The Matrix Reloaded will then be released 4K steelbook. So why are they splitting them up into three different weeks? I don't know. End of the day. Um, we're looking at July 9th in America. You, uh, the new Pet Cemetery will hit them in 4K. That does look a bit shit, if you ask me. Let me know your opinion on that one. Uh, when we hit July 15th, we get Captain Marvel. And that's coming out as a 4K and steelbook as well. And then we'll also get Matrix Revolutions as a 4K steelbook as well. So that's going to be an expensive week. July 22nd is the next decent one. Elite of Battle Angel. I think this film looks amazing. But across all formats with this, 4K or the steelbook 4K, You'll also get the 3D, the 2D, and the digital in the same box. So if you're buying 4K, you'll get 3D, 2D, and digital as well. Now that's a package to sell a film. Amazing artwork as well. That will hit us on July the 22nd. 
And believe it or not, America doesn't get it till the 23rd. Ah ha, we get it before you guys. But also, they get the doors in 4K. Val Kilmer, amazing in that film. That does look really, really good. Um, as we hit the 30th of July in America, you're looking at glory as well. Look it up. It's an amazing, amazing film. And believe it or not, Robert Downey Jr. is in it as well. Uh, if, we, if we're going on to August next, there's not that much listed as of yet except the one mainstay, which is one I showed everybody last week, Iron Man 4K Steelbook will arrive on the 12th, along with the Iron Man Trilogy in 4K. And the new Halloween will hit us in a 4K Steelbook, and it's cheap. Get it ordered on Davy now, because it's not bad price either. But then as you're trickling through the rest of August, America gets Apocalypse Now in 4K in August 27th. Wow. Just announces Stand By Me 4K for August 27th as well. And October 1st, just announced they are bringing The Shining to 4K and a beautiful looking steelbook as well. As far as I'm concerned, 4K is looking really rosy. Things do get listed really last minute on some of these. So I will always update these as much as I can. You can go on my Facebook page and you'll see all the latest covers as well. I didn't get round to doing Germany and France this week simply because I had so much on. I will aim to get uh, France and Germany onto Facebook in the next couple of hours if I can. But of course, normally over the weekend, you'll get a listing from America, France and Germany from me about what's coming out. Sorry I've slipped a bit on that. Now what else are we doing? Well, I still actually have some pickups. I had another four things arrive. Don't judge. Tinkerbell. And the Great Fairy Rescue. You're only a man if you have every Tinkerbell in film. You do know that, don't you? And next, I do have this in a steel book, but as you know, I'm going nuts and I'm getting all original. So I have the Twilight Trilogy. So I have the first three in a steel book. I want that as well. Don't ask me why. I just don't, I don't know. Lipstick and bullets. That looks so cool. It's a load of short films about revenge. I think that looks quite good. <laughs> a collection of revenge films by Alex Ferrara. Yeah. That looks crazy. And I'm so glad I got this. The third one's come out in America, and I will get that as soon as I can. But I also already have the first one, the Pixar Shorts Collection. These are mad, madly awesome. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So happy to have that in my collection again. Right. Competition time, guys. Just remember, for this Friday, you must be a subscriber to my channel. You need to befriend me on Facebook and then ask via Messenger to actually join the competitions. First prize is the Star Wars Padawan Menace and Mega Mind 3D. Get a bit of the child in you there. And then a couple of classics. We have Battle Los Angeles and Kick Ass. That is prize two. Quick word out to two two sets of people. One, the people who won last week's competition. I have yet to post your prize simply because I haven't been able to get to the post office. My apologies. I will hopefully get it done before the weekend or if not on the weekend. So my apologies for that. And um DVD and movie collector. I know I said I'd send you my Bumblebee slip cover because yours got knackered. I, it's right here. Yeah, okay, it will be done. But the same, I've got to get to the post office. My apologies for the delay, but it is still on its way to you. And you keep up the good work because your videos are amazing. That's it for tonight, guys. Only nine minutes, so hopefully you're not asleep. Friday's the next time you'll see me. We'll go through. Uh, the competition prizes, etc. I didn't get time to watch a film to do my first review, so next Tuesday will be my first bona fide, unadulterated review of a film. My selections I'm going to be calling "What the fuck." So WTF? It's gonna. I'm going to make sure it's films that you guys probably haven't even heard of, but are in my collection, and I will do a full review, and then I'll show you the best places to get it and the cheapest place to get it as well. If you like what I say and you want to buy it, I'll put it in the description down below as well. So we, hopefully that will go quite well. And I'll mix that in with my top 10 each week as well. So hopefully you'll want to tune in for that. Take care now. Enjoy the rest of your week. Beautiful weather out there. So, I mean, I can't tell to save me life. I'm Mr. Casper. So enjoy the rest of your night, guys, and take care.